a polar bear. So we're gonna hold our paper the tall way. You're gonna start out in pencil. I'm gonna start in Sharpie, but you're gonna start in pencil. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a large oval or circle for the head. So start with a large oval or circle. Once you do that, we're actually gonna go right to the body and we're gonna make two curves. One, two. So this is gonna take up almost the whole room. Now this bear is gonna be wearing a nice scarf. So we're gonna work on the scarf right now. And we're gonna have it wrap around his body more than once. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the edge. We're gonna make two lines, one, two. And then you're gonna come down and make a U shape. You're gonna erase these lines right here. I can't erase them, but you are. And then we're gonna have some lines come one way and then another way. So it looks like the fabric is twisting. And then once you do that, we're gonna add the part of the scarf that's hanging out. So two lines, and then you're gonna kind of bobble the bottle because it's never perfect. And then we're gonna add the little fringes. And the fringes are gonna come down, make a dot and come down, make a dot and come down, make a dot because it always ties right there. And if you wanna make them smaller, you can. You can even make them curved so they look more natural. So then they look like they're realistic. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bear's snout. Now the snout is gonna be right here and it's gonna kinda of be hidden underneath. The other thing is if you want your scarf to come up a little higher, you just bring up that line. So then you would erase this line here, this line, and there's a couple other lines you would erase. Now, we're gonna start with the snout. So we're gonna make a U shape. So start here, come all the way to the side. He's gonna be looking to the side, so make it come over to the right. Once you do that, we're gonna curve this line, come up, and then we're gonna kinda of just leave this one alone. Now, for the snout, we're gonna come down one, and then we're gonna leave this side here, and then we're gonna make the nose curve across, and then come down for the nose. This part right here is gonna be all black, but we do wanna make sure that we add the nostril. So make a curve on each one and make the nostril. And then you might wanna color this later with your black crayon instead. And then you wanna add a little bit of white. So I'm gonna add a, I have a black um, paint. We'll use that for that part. Now for the eyes, we're gonna kinda of work with a regular shape eye curve and a curve. Then we're gonna make the bottom and a bottom. Once we do that, we're gonna make the inside of the eye. Now the inside of the eye, we're actually gonna just make circles. And you're gonna leave the little white reflection and then color the rest of the eye black. Now, for the eye, we're also gonna add another darker part here. So make this part here darker and then make this part darker. Now, for the couple things we're going to do, we're gonna start working on the scarf. You have a whole bunch of options that you could do for the scarf. Now, if you feel that your bear has enough room, you can also add a little bit of the mouth too. Lastly, we're gonna add some little lines here to give you the feeling of fur. I'm gonna add some lines up here in this area to give it also the feeling of fur. And now I'm gonna add the ears. The ears are just curves and a curve. And then we do the inside of the ear. You probably will wanna erase this line right here. Lastly, we'll add some lines on the outside of the ear to give it that fuzzy look. And we could also add some lines here also and around the side to give it that fuzzy look. Now, if you wanna give your eyebrow a really big you can give big eyebrows to your bear if you feel like your eye. And then we're gonna do some shading. So you're gonna use your pencil at this moment. So I'm gonna grab a pencil. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna do some shading. There is going to be shading all around the eye. So you're gonna take your pencil and go all around the eye. So we're gonna trace everything now and now we're gonna do the shading. Once you do that, take your pen finger, smear it. Then we have some shading down the side, and we also have some shading on the nose. And we have some shading on the side here. Down the side. Make sure you shade. Lastly, you're gonna have some shadows in the ear. And there's a little bit of shadow on the top of the head. 
So that'll give it the feeling that it has some texture. And you can also do a little shadow right in this area and right by the scarf. So the last thing, now that we've done that, you are going to decorate your scarf and you're gonna come up with any pattern you want. You could do polka dots, you could do wiggle shapes, you could do geometric shapes, but you're gonna fill this whole area with tons and tons of details because that's really the only part you're coloring is the scarf. And you're gonna take your time coloring because you can use color pencils, you can use crayons, you can use markers, whatever you want. But this whole scarf needs to be filled in with different patterns. And like I said, you could do anything you want. The more details, it's actually gonna look better. When you are finished drawing your details, we're gonna actually draw in the background. You can draw mountains if you want. And I'll show you how to shade those. And if you wanna shade your mountains like a real mountain, this is what you do. You do diagonals, and then you V it back up to the middle. And then these are gonna be shadowed. And that is your mountain. You can also draw snowflakes in the background. So it gives it a real winter look. Take your time, go slow, and remember the only thing you're coloring here, I'll just remind you with some paint. You're going to be painting this section in nice colors. Go slow, take your time, and I cannot wait to see your bears.